Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel ClickView Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a ClickView Learner, and in this video, I will talk about the radar chart. So, if you have seen the radar charts, you probably know that they are the great way to display data by cyclic dimension. So, for example, we have this data by month and it has their respective sales. Now, with the help of the radar chart, we can visualize the entire year information in such a way that will help us to know where the data or the sales got spiked, where the sales in which months data uh, sales were consistent and in which months sales were low. So we can figure it out all of these behaviors with the help of the radar chart. So without any further talking, let's create by right clicking on the new sheet uh, blank space, go to new sheet object and click on the chart. This is our radar chart. We click on this and next. Here we'll pick our month uh, as a dimension. Click next. And we will sum the sales information. And sales. All right. Click OK. And we will change the label as sales and we click on finish all right so as you are seeing uh, the chart is not properly formatted as it is starting with april then august is coming then december is coming so let's quickly sort it properly so that it should reflect jan feb march to figure out the right inferences so we click on right click on the chart go to properties in the sort we uncheck this text and click the numeric value in ascending order. Click apply and OK. So as we have now formatted the chart to sort it properly, we are seeing this Jan, Feb, March, April values are properly coming. And with the help of this chart, you can now easily see uh, where the data is consistent like November, December and Jan and it got spiked in Feb and March and in April, March and April it is consistent, in May it went down, again it got spiked in June and it's consistent between July and August. So this is the inferences and you know quick decisions you can look at, uh, uh, when you look at this data you can make the quick decision and figure out the strategies based on that. So these are the great way to show the data on a cyclic dimension. Now this dimension can be month as we have seen here this can be year if you want to uh, visualize the yearly data or it can be as small as hourly data so you want to plot uh, the 24 hours of data you can plot it here and then visualize uh, uh, your daily information and if you are interested in knowing uh, the value on a particular data point you can hover your mouse over to that uh, point and uh, here a small pop-up will appear which will display the month and the sales so the month is Jan and sales is presented so this is how you can create a radar chart very simple but very powerful for visualizing the data on cyclical dimension rest of the properties are very much similar to other charts which I have already explained in my previous video so I will encourage that uh, utilize this chart in your uh, dashboards and uh, impress your management. So that's all I wanted to discuss in this video and I will meet you in the next video with a new chart. Thank you.